Hello all, I am Srija Alam and I am a Cloud Security Architect at Fortinet. In this video, we will explore creating organizational units in FortiCloud to structure resources and implement IAM user access to FortiWeb Cloud. Now first, let's explore the use case. Imagine a multinational corporation, Acme Corp, with operations spanning several countries and has various departments like IT, product procurement, marketing, sales, etc. Now, if Acme Corp have departments handling Fortinet product licenses, assets, and only want to access FortiCloud asset management portal, or if the network team, for example, want to have access to applications being protected by FortiWeb Cloud, which is Fortinet's WAF, we can control all of these through permission profiles and FortiCloud. Since all the permissions are controlled by FortiCloud, we can create IAM users and organizational units which represent each of these departments in FortiCloud and again assign permission profiles to IAM users that belong to different departments or organizational units at Acme Corp. Now, within each of these departments or organizations, there might be several users and few might need read-only access, others read-write access, etc., depending on their role to applications running on FortiWeb Cloud. In this video, we'll demo Acme Corp's use case by logging into root account, creating organizational units, creating permission profiles, and then we will create IAM user part of organizational units, assign permission profiles, and finally logging as the IAM user to get read-only access to 40 web cloud applications. But first off, what are organizational units on 40 cloud? Organizational units are designed to structure and manage resources efficiently, reflecting the company's hierarchy. This setup facilitates permissions and security policy management. The video highlights creating IAM users within the structure seen on the screen. Here is the structure of how an organization with a root account can have a master IAM user or external IDP role. This video specifically focuses on creating IAM users. We can start by registering a root account if you don't have one already. If you have a 40 cloud account, log in with your user credentials. Once logged in, select the root account and then on the top left corner, click on your profile, my account, and then go into the my account IAM version. On the left side tab under account preferences, we will need to enable organization feature. To enable organization feature, we will need a FortiCloud premium license. You can join an organization if you want to be part of an OU. Otherwise, you can also create an organization. Here, we can upload an organization structure. You can download a file template and input the hierarchy in the template or we can also input the organization info manually. Start by typing the name of the organization and give a description as you like. We have previously logged into the root account. Now let's create a member account within this OU. We click on new member account and we would like to use a real email because most of the employees in an organization will have a real email. That is the general use case. Start by typing in all the geographical information for member creation process and click on submit once done. The employee or the user will be sent an automated email from registration at fortinet.com. Let's go to the employee mailbox and see if an email is generated. Here is the email from registration at fortinet.com. The employees can reset their password by clicking in the reset password link and the user can reset. Once the password is reset, we can make sure you're logged in into your organizational account by clicking on asset management. Now let's go back into the root user account from where you have created the organization in order to create a permission profile to the member account, in this case, to Bob Quarty. 
Let's create a permission profile, the status to be active, give it a description, make sure the permission profile name is unique, and then select the type to be organization. We click on add portal and make sure we give access to FortiWeb Cloud Portal. We can also select different permissions between modules, and then we can also select read only, read write, or no access to these modules. Once done, we will click on submit. If you would like to add any other portals, you can now do it in the same step. Now let's create IAM user and give Bob QWERTY part of the organizational unit to have access to my root FortiWeb Cloud portal. Fill in the information as needed. Do not apply any permission in this step, but we can do it in the next step where we assign the organizational type, select the organizational unit, and also assign this user the permission profile we created in the previous step. Once done, we can confirm to make sure everything looks as needed, and then we submit. Just a recap here, what have we done so far is to create an organizational unit from the root user account, create a member account, and also assign IAM user permissions to the member account in order to access the 40 Web Cloud portal. Now, for the user to access the root account, we need to reset the password. We can go on to security credentials, reset the password, copy the reset link, and send an email to Bob QWERTY in this case. Now, let's imagine Bob QWERTY received the email and he's ready to reset the password. He'll click on the link, reset the password. We can see the account ID at the top. Bob will reset the password and then he'll click submit. Once done, we can use the same username and the account ID to log into the root account. Here we'll go into IAM login on support.fortinet.com and then enter the account AID or alias and the password Bob just reset. Once logged in, Bob will be prompted with a verification code. Get the verification code. Let's go back to Bob's mailbox and then refresh the mailbox to receive the email verification code here. Let's input the email verification code, fill in the captcha, and make sure to click on verify. This is again a one-time action only. Let's click verify. And then once we see it's an unauthorized access to asset management, however, there is an access to 40 Web Cloud portal. We click on 40 Web Cloud, login, and then Bob can now see his own org and also the root org. Within the root org, since we have given read-only permissions to all the applications, Bob can see read-only. However, for a certain module like Threat Analytics, for example, we have given read-write access, so Bob can see much more information and also he can create templates. For certain modules where there was no access, Bob can see that he did not have any permissions to access those modules like admin management or role management. Everything else is set to read only. Now, if Bob wants to access his own account and if there are applications running within his organizational unit, he can switch back to his own unit. In this case, Bob do not have one. He's a new user. No applications are created, so there are no permissions here. There will be more videos on how we can create external IDP roles and other use cases. Thank you so much for watching.